Hi, my name is Pilar Ibáñez and I'm the author of the book In Rain Fire. We're going to use this program to give you some advice to have a, a happy life. Today we're going to talk how to empower yourself with postures and with some sentences that you can use. Once William Shakespeare said that you know we know how we are but not what we can become. In the animal kingdom, you can see that some postures that the animals use are used to empower themselves. If you remember Godzilla or King Kong, he was always very straight up and he was doing like this. At the chemical level, what was happening to him is that he knows that the posture will give him a lot of testosterone that is one of the hormones that is making him feel more empowered. In human beings, it's exactly the same. We can use one posture or the other to be more depressed or to be empowered. If you, for example, are waiting in a room, waiting to go inside in an interview, and you are there sitting down with your cell phone like this, looking down, this posture is going to make go up the anxiety, the cortisol, and all the chemicals that will make you feel more stressed. Cortisol is one of the hormones that rise up all the anxiety, so you have to be careful with this posture. Also, it's very important that you know if you are sitting down that you need to be very straight up. It's better to have your computer at the same level of your eyes, so that all the hormones that will make you feel more empowered and happy go up. Those hormones are the testosterone, the serotonin and the dopamine. So if you're waiting there in one room, you can be like this with your cell phone. I know it's a little tricky, but you can use it to be more empowered. Also, if you are sitting on a room, you can use another posture to be empowered, and it's doing like this. You have to be careful with this one, because some people look at this posture as if you were somebody that knows everything about everything. So be careful with that one, but this one will also help you to be empowered. If you are standing up, it's very important that you use two postures to empower yourself. One of them is this one, that is the one that is used by the heroes, and it's called the hero posture. This one will help you to increase the levels of dopamine, so use it when you want to use it, it's very nice to do it. Also, there is one that we all do, and it's the victory one. When you see people that are in a race and they cross the line, they normally do like this. Why? Because they know that's a posture that it's a design of victory. So use it also. So if you are waiting to go inside an interview, go to the bathroom and do like this for three minutes or do like this and this will help you a lot. Also, if you find out that in your face you are expressing a lot of anxiety, it's very nice if you take one piece, uh, one paper, one pencil or pen and you put it in your mouth. This will change automatically the expression that you are having at that moment. And this will also help you to be more in harmony with yourself and less answer, and, and have less anxiety. Also, you can use another technique and it's to use some paper like this one and put some sentence. This sentence, like this one that says, yes, I can, you can put it in your mirror when you wake up or when you are going to an interview or to a meeting or something and to, you need to be empowered. Put some sentence, look at them and say, the, say that three times. This will help you to go out of your house having the good posture and also in your mind the sentence that will empower you. It's very important also that you identify why are you doing the things you do with your body? For example, if you are crossing your leg because you are very un timid on science, or you are putting your hand in one pocket because you are very insecure of what you are saying, or you are crossing your arms because you don't want to, the other people to cross your environment where you are, it's very important that you understand why is the reason you are doing that posture and try to relax and be, expand yourself to be more and more empowered. It's very also important that you identify all the reasons why you use your postures like your hands. For example, if normally if a person do like this to you, the other person is going to feel that you are pointing at them and he will take it personal. So be careful with those things that you do. 
Also, if you are in a meeting and you are talking about something, it's very important that you use proper your hands and you talk about everything with your hands and make people feel the way you are talking. Be careful with using your hands in very strange ways because this will make them to pay attention to your hands and not to what the words you are telling them. Use all this information to be more empowered. Use your postures and use some sentence to be more happy and more empowered everyday life. This will help you a lot in your daily, in your daily life. I hope this information will help you. If you want to have more information, follow us in our social media. And remember, everything starts when you ask. My name is Pilar Ibanez. Bye.